Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Spongy's Reign. A town is mine. The only bad side about a town is that I have absolutely nothing to put in it at the moment. Rest assured, a lot of things are going to be put in it momentarily. Like all of this. Pretty much, I'm handing him them my entire force here. With the exception of my Swadian Knights. And even then, I'm a bit tempted. I want to just hand them everything. The reason why is because this needs a garrison. It needs a garrison right now. All of this is now ours. Toshtar and Tadzimesh. But they are now going to try and besiege the town. Yeah. Trim is being besieged by one man. Yeah, they're going to besiege the town. That's exactly expected. But that is not a problem either. Because if they feel like they can just run in and besiege my town, they have another thing coming. Basically, that I'm not going to let them. Oh no, I'm not going to let them. This small army here will be more than sufficient. We meet again, King Spunty. When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. This guy does not like being let free. However, there's only 56 versus 89. My health, however, leaves something to be desired. My health is not good. I would really like them to sue for peace now. I might go back to my vil to my town and request that they do this. Because I I am one firm. There is their lord. Oh, he didn't last, did he? <laughs> nope, none of them actually did. Well, time to crush them. Two lords. Are you gonna knock anyone unconscious? Probably not, unless I have something to do with it. Also, somebody said they need to see more jousting. We'll see some more jousting. You! Ha-ha! Thou hast been jousted! I like the jousting. <laughs> really don't scare me with, uh, your, uh... One man on horseback. I will take that one man on horseback into my ranks. More. Oh, there goes a shield. <laughs> Swadia falls beneath my feet. And it is most fantastic. I need more soldiers. I need to take... Well, basically, I need a lot of soldiers now in this town. This town is probably going to give me, like, 1,500 golds worth of revenue. And we really need to sue for peace right now. I really don't want to be at war with Swadia forever. Being at war with Swadia forever won't help. My right to rule, however, is probably getting pretty impressive. Yay! So, how many have we... Oh, well, that's most of them, pretty much. There are a few stragglers. That being one of them. Do not let him escape. He's actually the one guy that's reasonably armed. He's going to escape, isn't he? That's okay. We'll let him go. We'll let him go. Hey! You are my prisoner now. Since you're not going to like me doing anything, fine. Be my prisoner. Be mopey. Hey, look, chainmail. 
I said that when I got some chainmail equipment, I would hand it over to um, my minister. You get to go in there for now, since you have nothing apparently to do but whinge. So, go in there. In fact, have your remnants of your army go in there too. Eesh. Everybody just go in here for now. I actually do not mind that everyone should go in here. The reason why is purely so I can go recruiting people. I need to recruit people. And I know the best places to recruit people on my own territories. I do have some more things to buy. Or to sell. These people are really good at throwing equipment at me. Just like, oh please, have our equipment. I need to go back to my home. What inevitably is now going to happen is Drim's now going to be besieged again. But I only have three men, so I travel absurdly fast right now. Like, look at how fast I go. I just need to be recruiting and dumping soldiers in there. Because the more soldiers are in there, the longer it's going to take for them to besiege it. Look at this. Look at this kingdom. It finally is a kingdom now. With the... With the people going to Drim, I finally have a kingdom. Recruit. One. Ugh. Just... Ugh. Right, let's get a lot of the random knick-knack people out of here. Like a watchman, and a, a guard, and a nord, and that. Remember knickknacks? They were delicious crisps. Now will keep the Rodox in there, because Rodox are really good. Actually, this doesn't have a lot of random people in it. However, I wouldn't mind taking some of these out so I can recruit them. That'll do. Let's go to Tadsamesh now. We just need to recruit a lot of people really quickly and just dump them in Drim. And probably check out Ravidin, see if they have any velvet. I'd really like to change where our um where our court is to Drim. So that is pretty much going to be my uh, my go-to. I'm not going to give them any of these territories. If they... You, you are following the caravan. I think you're trying to conquer it. Yeah, that, that, that definitely has the hallmarks of I'm going to take it over. There is not a lot in this one. But there are some prisoners. But it is technically conquered. Do you... Three recruits! Oh, Yalib apparently is, um... Yes! I will sell you this man for 3,200 dinars, because you're probably just going to escape anyway. I should probably go look for some velvet. That is a plot in my little kingdom there, that castle. The populace is indifferent to you. Well, apologies for that, but, um... Do any of you wish to join my little merry band? No. I have not a lot of men in there. Oh! No! Actually, what am I, what's my health like? It's good. I could do with conquering some people. 29 Swadian militia should be absolutely fine. Even though it's only me and Jashavi. This is when I get captured and lose my plate mail, isn't it? This is when that happens. Ow! Oh, 
One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, missed. Oh, six. Okay, gets a bit harder now. Seven. with Spunty. How many people can he murder with a sword? Now well, we can knock a few out, can't we? Well, we can if I could hit. There we go, that's better. Trust me, guys. Your morale, yep, your morale is breaking. Look at those two guys suddenly realizing who they're actually up against. I think I hit that guy in the ankle. Anyone left? Oh, two of you. You're on the run. I might be able to catch one of you. Might be able to get one of you. Unlucky! You were so close! And yet... So far. We'll release you guys. And you guys. So close. Just not quite. I really want to uh, get peace declared. Like, this is something I really want to have happen now. I have my own source of like everything, so I really want peace declared so I can get my house in order. But... It's probably going to be a long slog before that happens. I could actually go to um, another area and see what's going on. That could um, indeed be a thing. I'll save over this one for now. They're a bit of a way away. However... Let's quickly see if I can travel over to, say, Ravidin and get some velvet. Some velvet? A uh, hundred men. It's not great. I'd rather have three hundred men in there. Is that a man going to attack Drim? That's probably the king. Being like, this upstart old man? How dare he decide to be king? Only I can be king! <laughs> Yeah. So, if I get another lord, they can have one of my villagers. The problem is, is I don't think we're going to have many more lords defecting to me anytime soon. Do you have any velvet in Ravadir? I wouldn't actually mind it. Like, Ra like velvet would be fantastic. <laughs> no? Oh, we haven't got there yet. Velvet. That's wool. No. No velvet. <sighs> well, that's uh, no problem necessarily. When we come back, folks, back to trying to desperately fortify this settlement from attack. Because I'm not losing what we have here. I'll catch you later, folks. I'll see you then. Later.